You know what's boring and not funny? Oh my goodness, West just went self-aware. This homie gonna talk about his YouTube channel. Word. <laughs> I was talking about reading, not my YouTube channel. There's only two uploads on it. Technically three. So reading gives me AIDS, just like looking back at older YouTube videos, or even trying to realize how Charlie D'Amelio is still popular. Those things also give me AIDS. But this gives me more AIDS because I'm looking at it physically and I can literally touch it. Those other things, I don't even want to touch those other things. That's all. But back to reading. If the number one thing that makes reading boring is that it's basically just words. And especially when you hear someone reading about it, you always want to just fall asleep because all of the things they're telling you is old stuff that they probably believed when they were in high school. It's even funnier when a teacher likes to talk about their experience with the book, but all it makes all of us kids want to do is just wonder why we're reading it. <laughs> reading a book. I remember this back in high school, back in 1775. You know, my man George W. Bush was my homie in high school. Me and him would eat lunches every single day, especially with Margaret Thatcher, motherfucker. So, let's get reading. It gets even worse when you're trying to read it by yourself, because that's when people fall asleep. So, let me get some reading done. I Yo, what up? People, I'm gonna teach you guys to introduce you. Textbooks. Textbooks are like the fourth dimension. They're so lame. <laughs> Word! But hey, what can I say? I'm the type of person that reads Reddit posts. Well, Taking a sh for some reason, I could still find a way to fall asleep to that. <sighs> Reading's kind of like watching a movie, but the difference between a movie and a book is far from another. Because I could find enjoyment in some movies, but with books, I don't care who wrote it, I'm only never gonna read a book in my entire life. I don't care how scientifically or historically accurate it is. It's gay.